Hello, Mark here again, and I'm going back to doing book reviews. And the first one I'm going to do, which is a book I've really, really enjoyed reading, is The World is Flat by Thomas L. Friedman. Now, we're going to start off with a brief explainer video, and then I'll get into what I enjoyed and what maybe I found difficult about the book. So, we've got a video. Let's start. Thomas Friedman is the author of The World is Flat. In this book, he explores the immense impact of globalization on our lives and the vast opportunities it presents. The book takes us on a journey, revealing how technology and communication have transformed our world into a level playing field. In the past, geographical barriers separated nations, but advancements in technology have reshaped our reality. Today, individuals, businesses, and countries can connect and collaborate like never before. It has completely revolutionized the way we do business. We can access talent, resources, and markets from any corner of the globe. Through vivid examples and compelling stories, Friedman illustrates how globalization has driven economic growth and brought millions out of poverty. The World is Flat encourages us to break down barriers, embrace diversity, and foster a global mindset. Thomas L. Friedman tells us that by understanding and leveraging the forces of globalization, we can shape a brighter future for all. Okay, so I'm going to explain a bit about the book and why I enjoyed it. I also need to bring up a spreadsheet to, to give my marks. So, it's basically a book which analyzes how globalization has changed the world. Um, I think we've all probably noticed over the last 20 or 30 years, outsourcing, onshoring, and all those ch changes which have taken place. Now, this book starts off with the 10 flatteners and these include the collapse of the Berlin Wall, Netscape, which led to web browsers appearing everywhere, we all use the internet now, outsourcing and various other factors, and it's a book full of facts and tr trends, but what makes it appealing to me is it also includes a lot of personal anecdotes, not just from big business leaders and beneficiaries, but from people from all walks of life in America, in India, Mexico, China, it is really research this book very well. Okay, the best part of this book is and one and the reason why I really like it, it it's a positive book. It tells you how you can take advantage as an individual not just as a company but to access customers, supply customers, gain business all around the world. But at the same time it does mention negatives as well. It, it will talk about the stresses on the environment, the perceived Americanization of the world's economy, which has fueled a lot of opposition. Now, my favourite quote actually is on page 222 on by edition. Now, I don't know if you can see, I've got the book here. Okay, this is from 2007, my edition, but I'm sure it's been reprinted several times. But the famous, the quote I love, Americans have consistently led in innovation over the last century. Americans widen, we have never seen that before. And that's from an Indian software developer, games developer in, in India. Americans whining. <laughs> well, they, they are normally winners, so they don't often whine. That's why. <laughs> My favourite quote. Um, he, he, he does mention these negative parts, but having said that, he says the old point of globalisation is it gives power to individuals and customers. You can go on, I don't know, TripAdvisor or various web feedbacks and companies have to be aware they're not just providing a product they're providing service and they are accountable to people okay so I'm going to give my marks 
readability I thought was fantastic nine which is about the maximum I'm going to give on, on this particular uh, type of review reliability I, I would say most of the facts he quotes he's got a good um, bibliography in the back a good index I should say so I'm going to give him 8.5 maybe he's made one or two small mistakes and the reread factor I'm already rereading it I read it earlier this year you can dip in and dip out it is a fantastic book and the average score there is 8.8 .8. so a fantastic book I don't know if it, that would render correctly, I've got to uh, fix that, but the world is flat, I totally recommend it.